Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at the new Run Image Day macro module introduced in Cell Profiler 4.1. I'm going to start by just opening up some uh, example images in the example pipeline and clearing off the modules that we have there. And this module has been introduced to allow users to link Cell Profiler to ImageJ. Um, and Effectively, what this module does is it will allow a cell profiler user to uh, create a temporary folder during the run, uh, export uh, an image or some images into that folder, and then execute an image day macro on that folder. Once the macro completes, a cell profiler can then import a resulting image produced by that macro. Um, so the first thing we're going to need to do here is to find our image day installation. Um, either Fiji or image day should work just fine. Uh, we click this button, we can then get to the directory it's stored in. So in this case, it's fiji.exe, but if you're on Mac, it may be a .app file. You'll see we've got some other settings here. Uh, one of the important ones will be the macro itself. Uh, in this case, I've already written a macro which we can use in this particular demonstration. Uh, so let's go into this folder I made just to test things and open up the rotate text macro. Um, the following settings are all about what's going to be passed into the macro and what's going to come back out. So you'll see we have a few questions here. Uh, the most important one is which uh, variable in the image day macro is going to refer to the directory that we're using. Um, but we also now have the option to send in, say, a blue image. And we have to say what the image should be saved as and what we will be loading up afterwards. So I believe in this macro it will be called input.tiff with one f and output.tiff. And we'll just call that output. Cool. So let's take a look at this macro briefly. So I'm just going to load up the macro into image day. And we see that what we have here is uh, just a basic uh, string of commands which I think rotates the image, uh, applies the background subtraction, and also adds a little bit of text on. Um, some of these functions are available in Cell Profiler, but the important thing to show here is the flexibility that this module has. Um, so at the moment, this is set up to just execute within uh, the folder here that I've made the demonstration. If I were to run this, it should hopefully add some text to the image, rotate it a bit, and then save it into that folder as output.tiff. That is what Cell Profiler in a temporary directory will be intending to load in. However, one of the things we need to do to make this work with Cell Profiler is to add uh, the uh, variables that would be coming from Cell Profiler to the script. So in place of this directory, we are actually going to have a separate command here called app string. This will tell us we're going to give it a string variable, and we're going to call it directory. There we go. Now, I believe that matches up. Oh, it should be a small d. There we go. Now, if we were to run this, we can basically see that in the actual macro editor, we will now get a pop-up asking us for what would be going in. This is what Cell Profiler will be filling in for us when we get to that. But you can see the macro still works just fine if we enter that data. However, if we save that and we try running our macro in test mode, hopefully this will give us the result. So you can see the macro has successfully pulled in this data that we wanted from that. We've got our input and the output that came out in the end. And you can see we've added this text here. However, a lot of the time you're going to want to not have you're not going to want to have to edit the macro every time that you try and do something with it. Uh, there may be particular variables that you wish to change, and that's what these variable options down the bottom here are. So I'm going to add a couple of variables here. Um, let's try moving the text a bit, shall we? So we could add a couple of variables. There we go. We'll call them x and y. And maybe we should also specify the text as well, just because it's easy to visualize. So let's give one called text. Now, these are obviously going to have to be numbers. But Cell Profiler is probably going to deliver them as strings of text. And there we go. So we've got x, y, and text. And I'm going to want to add these up here with that string command there. So 
for x and y, we're probably going to want these to be considered as numbers, so we're going to call them integers. Oh, leave the at on that one. And we're also going to have the text. So, and what we can do is, if you notice these commands in the macro, each one has a series of different options, which would normally be in a pop-up when you call that within ImageJ, uh, but we can now specify them using variables instead. So the text function from drawstring will be here, and then well, let's make the x and y positions use those variables that we just piped in. And to test that, we can now press the run button, and you'll see once again, we've got the option to enter these manually within the ImageJ macro editor. So yeah, we can call the text whatever we want. And you can see it's placed it now where we want to. So let's be sure to save that now. And let's try running it again in ImageJ, but this time with these different parameters. So hopefully we should see example text come up. And hopefully when the macro completes, that is what we'll get on our output. And there we go. Yep, so we can see example text has been added right there. Now that's not particularly useful for most cell profiler cases, but where this could be useful in supplying a variable is if say you wanted to change the size of a filter or the intensity of a particular transformation. Uh, so this, the images produced by this particular module can then be used in anything downstream. So if we wanted to use the threshold module, you'll see we've now got that output that we produced in the run image macro module. So that's all we have for now. Uh, thank you very much for watching and enjoy the new module.